bit of a bodge, I know, but it's the only switch I've got. And he's not really too bothered with how it looks as long as it works. So this will have to do for now. Uh, he's going to replace the. He's going to replace the uh, front. And the switch. At some point, but for now. This will have to do. At least he can turn it on, which uh, he can't do at the moment. Now we'll see what we can do. A tiny uh, tactile switch. A bit more. There we go. Is it straight? Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. So we've got we've got this little micro switch on there. At least it's uh, at least it could turn it on. So they're not that uh, they're not that strong. Just gonna have to be careful. Obviously, the uh, original on-off switch is like one of these metal switches here. Uh, some of it, some of it is in the bag here. And some of it is actually missing. Otherwise, I could have, I could have probably rebuilt it. But that plastic middle piece there was missing. And that's actually the switch. That's actually the, the piece that moves. So he needs one of those. It's a shame. They're quite uh, quite a robust switch. Obviously, this is on two legs, and there's obviously a bit of a bit of give with them. So we'll see how it goes. Sure, that's a bit of a dry joint on that one. Looks it. Oh, well, it's apart. May as well just dab a bit of solder on there. Didn't flow too well. I guess the um, switch is oxidized over the years. A bit better. Lead free solder as well is shit. So uh, we'll put it back together and see what happens. So we have put the front or connected the front back up to the main chassis and there's the switch I put on press and hold it there we go obviously the VFO is, all, is out that's about there so it works it's 
It's a bit flimsy. It's a bit flimsy. But it works, that's the main thing. So I've replaced the uh, switch. I've replaced the switch. I did, uh, I did try this one. If it'll focus. I did try this one in there. But as you can see, the legs are quite long and it was very, it was very wobbly. And I thought, well, within next to no time, it's going to snap and break off and we'll be doing this again. So I found a slightly bigger, but it's, uh, the legs were spaced further apart. The legs were spaced further apart and they just happened to line up exactly with the uh, solder pads. So I put this one in instead. Now it doesn't stick out quite so far as this one because this one had a, a longer plastic piece on the top. This one is a little bit smaller but if we if we if we stick if it'll focus if we stick the on off button to the actual switch I've got in there now so I'll do that later, but if you can imagine it's stuck to it. Let's, uh, let me come out of there a bit. So if you can imagine it's stuck to it, then um, it, uh, it works. We just need to stick this to there now. Uh, it's not ideal, obviously. But at least it's usable. And that's the main thing. So the work on my uh, mate's 817 is done. I said it's not ideal. You're going to have to buy a surround, a new push switch, a new uh, a new push button, a new switch and then we can we can do it properly but um, as uh, as this is just uh, something he takes uh, with him portable and stuff like that um, you know he said this is this is quite adequate for what he wants so it's got internal batteries it's got um, eight uh, 2.9 amp um, metal hydride batteries in there, rechargeables. So if we press and hold the, the button, there we go. And it looks, uh, it looks, it looks okay. It sticks out a bit further than it would normally. But it's perfectly usable. So um, yeah, nice one.